shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were the noise of the thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering. So the first uh, thing it w of note here I want to sh um, show you is that it starts off by saying uh, there shall be great tribulation and then it quotes a verse from Revelation about the white horse which is Jesus Christ. Alright so the great tribulation for the person presenting this video must be Jesus all right I mean there's really no other way to look at it they're saying that the tribulation of their life is going to battle with the white horse which is Jesus Christ and then of course here where I stop the video it says the seven-year tribulation is almost upon us all right, so I'm going to focus on those things. Uh, it's ridiculous, for one thing. I got to show you to begin with. We're just going to go seven year tribulation and look at the verse that talks about seven years of tribulation. And as soon as we find. Uh, the seven-year tribulation mentioned in the Bible then I will uh, correct myself and uh, admit that these people are right and that I'm wrong the only problem is it's still not in the Bible <clears throat> it's not there it's not anywhere at all in the Bible you would think you have an entire doctrine an entire video and whole groups of people talking about a seven-year tribulation you would think it would be found in the Bible but it's not it's not found anywhere at all nobody on earth today can point to a passage in the Bible that supports the idea of a seven-year tribulation it's not found in Daniel it's not found in Matthew it's not found in Isaiah it's not found in Revelation it's not found in Ezekiel it's not found in Jeremiah it's not found anywhere at all Old Testament New Testament it's not found anywhere at all and what really burns my butt is that these people are implying that Jesus was ignorant all right because as he pointed out here there shall be great tribulation all right there shall be great tribulation verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation and then verse 29 immediately after the tribulation that is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and that is when we are lifted up gathered to him in the clouds to be with the Lord that's after the tribulation Jesus himself says in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world all right John 16 
verse 33 these things I have spoken unto you that in me might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world all right and I I, I guess that's it. That's all I want to share is that there's nothing in the Bible anywhere at all um, that suggests a seven year tribulation. In fact, the tribulation of Matthew 24 is what we're going through right now. And it's not seven years, it's been going on for. Uh, arguably Jesus went through tribulation I and mean, that's life right but the point here is that things are getting worse and worse and worse and worse and we see this theme of things progressing worse and worse all throughout the Bible so anyways that's all I got